Today I'm going to show you how to use the teleport script on roll 20 with multi leveled maps. First thing you do is you would go into your game, go into the settings, then go into the mod brackets API scripts. And then you see I've already actually got teleport installed. Um, if you don't have that, you just go into mod library and then you just search in there for teleport. And then you would scroll, and then on teleport you would just scroll down and hit save script. Sandbox will restart, and that should be good to go. It's not spitting out any errors, so it's time to launch the game. So you go into the game. We'll go into the page settings here, and you can see that. This is for the church, so I have the church which is the main area where you're coming in through the front doors. There is a basement to the church, there's an upper level, and then there's the top of the church where the church bell is. And what we're going to do is we're, we're going to automatically move the tokens there into in all these different areas. So we we'll start off, um, all I, I just need a token, a dummy token. Uh, I'm just going to roll a, a d20. So if we, just, if we just zoom out of this map, we'll see that we need, we have, we've got stairs here. We've got stair, stairs down in the basement. So the ones on the left go up, those ones go down. And then just as you come in here through the doors, there's a stairway leading up the way on the right hand side and a stairway leading up the way on the on the left hand side, so we'll need to roll um, four D20s in total. I like to do them individually. And these are just all going to be token markers. So you just drag on the, the D20 and place it where you want it to be. And that's the same here. So that's the um, this is the first part of the setup done for this page. I'm going to add the, the, the D20s to the rest of the pages before we start actually creating the teleport markers. So we're going to the basement. I'm just going to roll another one. Drag that to the top of the stairs here. And um, now let's go to the next area, which is church level two. So we've got one here at the top of the stairs. And then the top of the stairs here. Up the stairs here. And then we've got one for that ladder which leads up to the, the bell tower. So that's that part done here. And then we'll go to the, the church top with the bell tower. And just drag another one here. Right, so that's now that's done, we're going to change all these tokens into teleport pads. So go into the journal. And then open the handout that says Teleport uh, API. And then in the purple box here, you just want to copy and paste that. And you paste it into the chart window. Hit return. And that's that done, so we can close that out. So while selecting the, the token, the, the, D, the, 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 the D20 bits of six that's been rolled there, um, you just click on Create uh, Teleport Pad. And I'm just going to name this um, Bell Tower. Submit. And that now automatically gets moved into the GM layer. And I'll go down a level. And then the ladder reading up to the bed, Bell Tower, you just click on the Create Teleport Pad again. And I'll just say ladder. 
Bell. Same done. Now, if you wanted to, well, actually, we'll finish creating the rest of the tokens first. So the next one there will be the that's level two right. So again, let's create the teleport pad. Those ones done. Let's go into the the basement. Output pad. So we just got to call this. Just LVL left, LVL one left, and then the nine there. LVL one right. So that's all the tokens created. They will all be moved into the DM layer. So you need to go then go into the GM layer, I should say. And so just so you know, you've got the teleporter pad list, and all that would do is that would teleport the player from one position on the same page but because we are going for we're going from uh, one page to another page i.e we'll be teleporting from the church to the basement it has to you have to select a global pad list so you click on that one and it should bring up a menu here and it says here none of the numbers linked so the easiest thing to do is i'm going to link everything from the church to the next level up so you go into level two, we're in the GM layer, but um, level two left, and we want to go for level two left, from level one left to level two left, so you just click on the link button there. That's that one done. And then we've got uh, level two right. Oh, uh, level two right, so we're going from level two right to level one right. That's that. Um, and then it's a uh, top left. We're going from level two left top to level one left top. Hit like button. And that's, that's that one done. I'm going to go back down to the, the church. We want to go from, um, what does that say? 
basement level 1 to basement level 0, so you click on that. And then it's level 1 left top, and we want to go to from level 1 left top to level 2 left top. Level 1 left to level 2 left, so you're just going to church level 2 and it's level 2 left. Right. Is um, that one done? So now we want to go to the, the basement. You beg your pardon, the basement's already done. Um, have I done the basement on this side? No, I have Right, so I do need to go back into the basement. Right. This, and link it to level one. So that's that done. That's just the bell tower that needs done now. So we put the top. And you just link that to the ladder to bell tower. And then that one there to church top. Right, that same all done. So th there's one more thing that you need to do in order for this to work properly, is uh, the, the token that actually walks onto these um, these these global pads, these teleport pads needs to be in every map in order for it to get moved there. So um, as you can see here, Honar is on the top left here, so he will that will work on this page. I will just go to the, the bell tower. I've already put him in there at the top. Uh, let's see, is he in the basement? He's already in the basement. Um, and then, is he still in the church? Yes, and he's still in the church. Uh, he's in the GM layer with the looks of things there. So I'm going to bring him into the token layer. And then we'll just go through them all to make sure that they work. So, um, the best thing th here is for just to switch into player's view. So just give me a moment while I switch into player's view. Right, so we're just going to quickly go through the areas. So I'll start at the bottom left. Uh, brilliant. So, and then all I need to do is go back and it should go back down. Brilliant. Let's go over to the right. See if it goes up. Let's go up another level to the bell tower. Brilliant. Let's go back down. Let's go back down again. Down to the basement. Perfect. Works brilliantly. Let's go back up. So that door's now unlocked. Let's go up. Oh. Go. Perfect. That's a spark down again. So as you can see, that's the teleport script, script works perfectly um, and that is how you would use the teleport script to work with multi-level maps. I do wish that you didn't have to go to the extreme and Roll20 would add, let, let you add multiple layers but you can only add one layer to your map with all the dynamic lighting and, and things in there. So. That's an, a great workaround. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, could you please give me a like and subscribe? Thank you very much. And I will see you in the next one.